Damn, Porto. I hate my job. It is no fun. That's why they call it work. <laughs> you don't see signs that say, men at fun. Oh, no, that doesn't mean it has to be boring. You know, yesterday I fell asleep doing a presentation that I was giving. Yo, boy, why don't you try being a first-year law associate? You know, the closest I've come to a trial is arguing with the falafel guy in the food court. Yeah, and how'd that go? Ah, we settled. Fortunately, my stomach has no. Well, it's not like I have to be entertained 24-7. I'm not some kid who just wants to play games. We watch out for the giant squid. Watch out for the giant squid. I have the most wonderful news. Oh, you know how to kill a squid? Yeah, like this. No, 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 no. You realize you didn't kill it, right? You just made it angry. I am editing my first children's book. Honey, you've edited lots of books. Yeah, but honey, this one has words. There are five sentences in the entire book. How do you edit that? You make it three sentences? Honey, just because it's a children's story does not mean it should be simple. This book could be a metaphor for mankind's existential odyssey through life. It's about a caterpillar trying to cross a leaf. You don't understand. You have to read between the lines. There's only one line per page. There is no between. Gordon, 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 Gordon. Don't you see? What? The caterpillar is us. The leaf is life. Exactly. Thanks, Jay. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you saw all that in the book? Heck no, I just wanted to get her out of here. Kill the screen, kill the screen. <laughs> made it to the lodge yeah um look i work in the office below you so do me a favor and switch to cross-country skiing all right man well i was done anyways i mean the lift lines were way too long today here check this out toro toro ole toro toro ole toro 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 oh, oh. Oh, man. It's pretty realistic, huh? Yeah, I'll say I need a new pair of virtual underpants. <laughs> Logan, please. It's Bill Gates on the line. He wants to talk about the merger. Yeah, will you tell that nerd till he comes through with the codex for the high-performance wavelet compression algorithm? He can mega-bite me. <laughs> uh, I, I will tell him you are in a meeting. <laughs> you're, you're Logan Thomas, yeah. the, the software genius? The richest man in America under 30? Boy, I must be doing well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Man, look, I'm, I'm a big fan of your games. I play them all the time, especially Watery Gray. Look, look, tell me, how do you get past the giant mutant squid? I gotta know. I can't tell you that. I'd have to fire myself, and I can't afford my severance. Oh, come on, what a little tip. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Look, seriously, look. I keep shooting off the tentacles, but they keep just growing right back. Of course you do. Everybody does. <laughs> do you ever think of letting the squid swallow you and blowing it up from the inside? That's it, huh? No. I mean, why would I just tell you the answer? Do you know how long it took me to design that game? 
three hours. Honey, it took me that long just to read the instructions. Well, maybe you should include, like, a, a talking tuna fish or something to give you tips along the way. That is a great idea. Yeah, that would, that would rock. Talking tuna fish. Would you like to work here? Me work here? Oh, I love to work here. Oh, this is fly. This would be like my dream job. I mean, I, I do this for nothing. I, I, I could be persuaded for a reasonable amount of money, you know? Um, what kind of position are you offering? Well, whatever you want, except Supreme Warlord. That's my title. Okay. Well, look, um, I'm kind of happy in my current position, so I think I'll, you know. Okay. <laughs> On the other hand, change is so good. It is, it's really healthy. Um, I'd have to be a vice president, of course, with uh, full benefits and uh, four weeks paid vacation uh, and uh, occasional use of the company jet. Deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay. You should have asked for stock options. Can I have stock options? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. Hey, how was work, man? Best day yet. I quit. No, no, not again, Jay. Look, when are you gonna realize you gotta hunker down like me and suffer for a decade or two? Clawing your way to middle management. Only to be downsized a minute you're too old to find another career. I walked in the cell you're on today and they made me their new vice president of marketing. Well, you could go that way, too. <laughs> if you want me, I'll be out in the ledge. Oh, Gordon, don't jump. My car's parked out front. <laughs> Come on, you can't be jealous, Gordon. This is my chance to get ahead, to live my dream, and to find out how to kill the mutant squid. Okay, now I'm happy for you. Uh -huh. Here we go. Now just remember, it's just a game, it's not a real bull. Oh, but that was a real airplane. Excuse me, that is not a toy. Well, it's the world's smallest airport, because there's a plane in there. It is a prototype of a toy, and it cost $2 million. Whoa, at those prices, it better damn well come with batteries. <laughs> May I help you? Yes, I'm, uh, Jay Frazier. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you people did that here. I'm the new, uh, vice president of marketing. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. Because I am the vice president of marketing. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm real sorry, man, but uh, I'm sure you'll uh, be happy wherever you go. Uh, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. No, no, don't be hard on yourself, because you do look like the kind of dude who just lands on his feet. <laughs> I am Rodney Carruthers, Chief Financial Officer. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now, a second ago, you said you were Vice President of Marketing. Make up your mind, make up your mind. <laughs> I am. I am also Vice President of Investor Relations, in-house counsel, and I wrote the company theme song. Great. Well, it looks like we have a problem here, so uh, we'll just need to speak to the head of human resources. That's all. Also me. <laughs> that explains how you got all those jobs. It also explains why there's no job for you. Goodbye. Oh, we can deal with this in two and two. Where's Logan? Mr. Thomas is in Switzerland. He enjoyed our new skiing game so much, he decided to buy an Alp. <laughs> look, look, call him up. Oh, no, he does not like to be bothered unless it's important. This is important. I quit my other job. I meant important to me. <laughs> But Logan hired me. You, you saw us together. I saw him with the phone repair guy, too, but we didn't hire him. Of course not, because he only stopped by between 12 and 2. Don't you ever laugh? I almost did when you said you quit your other job. Look, Logan Thomas's genius created Celluron, but I run it, okay? And no one gets hired here without my approval. But this isn't fair! 
If you'd like, you could take it up with the head of our complaint department. Let me guess. You got it. <laughs> I cannot believe I just lost the world's greatest job. You were only there for five minutes. That's, that's got to be a record. I mean, who'd ever think you could beat your seven-minute stint as a telemarketer? You try selling phones over the phone, okay? You know, I knew that Logan Thomas job was too good to be true. Slow and steady wins the race. This from a man who runs a four-minute yard. Oh. Look, Jay, why don't you just try to get your old job back? Hey, that's a good idea. I tried. I begged, I pleaded. I ate so much crow, I'm still burping feathers. <laughs> Why didn't you come to me for advice? I studied groveling in law school. It's the only course I aced. <laughs> Can't be without a job. I couldn't afford my bills when I had a job. Well, at least you don't have to make any adjustments. <laughs> you know, look, look, the more important thing is, in your brief tenure at Celeron, did you find out how to get past the mutant squid? Please. I couldn't even figure out how to get past Rodney, the mutant weasel. No, he, he said Logan never even told him we had a deal. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, wait a minute. Did, did, did Logan actually say deal? Oh, yes. Seal it with a hug, too. Jake, that constitutes a verbal contract. You have grounds to sue. And talk about deep pockets. <laughs> Logan's pants need a lifeguard. Okay, okay, work with me here, work with me. Where can I find a lawyer? Hello. <laughs> Come on, Jay, think about it. I'll finally get to argue a case. Look, I'm happy to help you out, but I, I'd sort of like to win. <laughs> <laughs> you know, first of all, that's selfish. <laughs> and second of all, we don't have to win, Jay. These guys will settle. I mean, this is just a nuisance suit, a minor annoyance. Don't sell yourself short. You can be a major annoyance. <laughs> I know, and it's finally going to come in handy. <laughs> No, 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 Jay, you don't have to know, because this, this is an open and shut case. A moron could win it. Yeah, hi. Oh, give me a little love. And the whole caterpillar turning into a butterfly thing is so cliche. I mean, it's not that you're not a good writer. It's just a little juvenile. No, it's not. <laughs> Sally, I'm just trying to make your book better. Why don't you draw on your own life experience? Why don't I draw on your face? Because we don't do that at business meetings. Do I have to give you a time out? Do I have to ask for a new editor? Okay, you know, I love the stuff on page three. It's gold. Uh, Zurich Hilton? I'm, I'm looking for Herr Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Nine Nine, Logan Thomas, the rich Americana. Boku Deutschmarks. Boku Deutschmarks. What? 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 Wait, did you see if they have a replacement tweezer for my Swiss Army knife? I mean, <laughs> hello? Hello? Oh, thank you. Thank you. They hung up. Look, don't worry about Logan. He's just dodging us until after the settlement offer. Now, look, let's just discuss your testimony. <clears throat> what exactly did Mr. Thomas say to you? <laughs> Why are you using that stupid voice? It's not stupid. I'm using Paul Newman's voice from the verdict and John Travolta's gestures from a civil action. Oh, great. I'm being represented by Blockbuster. <laughs> are you sure they're going to settle? Gee, I'm positive, man. Positive. I, I, got it. I got it. Hello? Uh-huh. 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 Well, oh, 10 million. Ten, just take it. Take, take it. Well, you're out of your take, mind. Yeah. We'll see you in court. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, no, tell me you did not just turn down $10 million. Of course not. They're not settling. They're actually kind of suing you for $10 million. <laughs> We are going to court. Yeah. Bankruptcy court. She <laughs> relax. The most they could do is go after you for your personal belongings. They're certainly not worth anything. So really, the joke's on them. <laughs> oh, yeah, Gordon. I'm really laughing. <laughs> oh, take it all! Take it all! <laughs> oh, and you thought I never laughed. What, 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 what? They're taking my clothes. Can they take my clothes? Can they take my clothes? Um, yes, they can, but, but think of the fortune you'll save on laundry. <laughs> and thanks to you, we've already taken them to the cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's my bed. What, what do I have to sleep on? Well, I would suggest the couch, but we're taking that too. <laughs> That's my fridge. Well, what, am I, what am I supposed to put my food in? Well, actually, now it's our food. Mm. Mm. Gordon, you might, Tony, say something. Right. Um, can I have a thigh? Keep your hand off my thigh. Mm. And the shirt? Yeah. Mine! <laughs> Gordon, all I have left is my underwear. Yeah, um, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Gordon, I do not want to lose my underwear. Yeah, I believe the phrase is lose your shirt, but I'll look out for your underwear, too. Now look, when you get this whack job Logan on the stand, I want you to grill him like a piece of salmon. First of all, you don't grill salmon. It should be poached. And second, there is no stand, Jay. This is just an informal arbitration. No big deal. Oh, boy. Mr. Fraser, you are going to lose so much money, your children's children will have bad credit. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brothers. My lawyer is gonna run circles around all your little lawyers. Okay, walk circles. Are you cool? Yeah, I'm fine. Welcome, gentlemen. I object! <laughs> Would you prefer I say hello? Oh, yeah, I, I'm so sorry, Your Honor. I'm not a judge, merely an arbitrator. <laughs> yes, your arbitrator. Miss, <laughs> sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am. Uh, um, may I say you look lovely today? Hi. <laughs> I can see why you got an A in groveling. Shut up. Shall we begin? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Where's Logan? He's tending to more important matters. I object. Now my entire case is based on a rigorous cross examination of that witness. You must produce him. Yeah, it, it was good. Where'd you get that? The verdict or the rainmaker? <laughs> You know, I don't get all my legal savvy from the movies. It's from Matlock. Actually, Mr. Thomas doesn't need to appear. Mr. Carruthers will speak on his behalf. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, um, sir, ma'am, yeah. Um, can I, can I just need to confer with my client?